Hello there, welcome back. Today I'm doing a bit different. I'm making a leather holster for uh, my secateurs that I use in the garden. I've already cut out the two pieces of leather I want to use for it. And I've decided I'm going to put like a Celtic knot on it as a design. So you've got to uh, dampen the leather down to get it to take an imprint. So I've fastened on, obviously printed it out and fastened on uh, the design. And now it's, um, I'm just tracing round the lines with this uh, tool. It's got like a very smooth end on it, so it doesn't cut. It just leaves an imprint of the line I want to trace that I'm tracing round. So, it takes a bit of time, but uh, it's well, it works. It's the best way to get the design on the leather. You've got to maintain a fairly firm pressure on it. Uh, as you can see, I'm turning it round to get a better angle on it. And I'm up detaching the masking tape a bit to, so I can see what bits I've done and what I've missed. You, it doesn't really show very well on the camera where it's marking it out. To, but you can see a little bit of it. I keep losing where I am, so it takes a bit to, hence why I keep flipping it up and all. I've gone all the way round it there now, so I'm going to peel it off. Um, as I said, you can't see it very well on the camera, but the lines are there. So I should go around with a swivel knife, which is a tool I'm using. And you, you sort of, you aren't cutting all the way through with it. You're just cutting a little bit down. So when you uh, tool it later, that'll make you give you a line to uh, stand out more. It takes a little bit of time to do with the knife, but this is technically because it swivels, it means you can follow the curves round, etc. So uh, it works quite well. Uh, now, I've cut all the lines, and I'm using a tool now that, to uh, depress the leather in the inside of the design. Um, this one's got like a, almost like a serration on it that will leave a dimpled effect in the leather. But it's just a question of going round of staying inside the, outside the lines as it is on this one. So that will make the design stand out.
as I said, it takes a bit of time with this. I'm using two or three different tools of slightly different shapes um, to get in all the, the tight corners of the design. But they all got the, we'll leave it with like a dimpled effect on it. It looks quite good when it's dried out. Uh, it's a bit difficult, it doesn't really show the detail that much on the camera. Um, but it does look quite good. You can see now, getting towards the end of the middle bit there, and as I turn it, you can see the band of the design can start to come out quite well. So it's uh, it's time-consuming, but it does leave a nice effect on it. I've swapped to the outside of the design now um, using similar tools but these ones are actually smooth so I've done that because it'll give it a bit more uh, definition from the inside to the outside um, it's a bit quicker to do because I it didn't quite so fiddly so so run around that and uh, it'll look quite good You see, once I've been round, what I'm doing then is I'm not tapping it too hard, but sliding the tool along, and that helps to get rid of the ridges then.
Right, now I'm going around the outside of this. That just leaves a line for where I can run the pinwheel on for doing me stitching. So uh, now you see me go around and uh, that will mark all my stitching where it needs to go. And then obviously later I'll stitch it. These are, this is where my belt will go through. So I'm uh, just punching a couple of holes in, one in each end of each slot. And then I will cut them out and form the, the gap for the belt to go through. Now I've got my knife and I'm just uh, cutting through to join the holes up and then uh, as I said that'll give me my slot for the belt to go through. It's quite thick leather this so uh, it's taken a few passes to do it about right. Now I've got the slot cut, I'm going to use the edging tool and that just trims off the corner to smooth it over a bit and I'll go right round uh, that, it makes them uh, smoother and takes away the sharp edges. I'm going to, off camera, I shall run some contact adhesive around the edge to hold it in place for when I'm sewing it. So I've got it set up. I'm using this clamp so you can see it. It's a two needle stitching. So I'm using the awl to go through to pierce the leather and then I shall pass the needles back and forth uh, through. That will give me me double stitching. It's, uh, it comes, yeah. It comes out very strong when you do it this way. It's just very time consuming. So uh, I won't film all of it. Uh, you don't need to see me do this all day. Um, the, I'm using a linen based um, cotton, well it's not cotton but uh, whatever you like to call it, string to do it um, and it's just a plain one because I didn't want it coloured. I'm using the pliers on it because uh, my fingers won't grip the needle, it needs a bit of pulling through so I'm using the little pliers just to give me a bit more grip and uh, make it easier on my fingers.
Well, I've stitched it all the way round now and I'm now using a two-piece rivet to just give it that bit extra strength. You've got to, uh, you've got the anvil that you put one bit on and then uh, whack it with the, the tool to round it over. But the only trouble is you, I don't like to hit it too hard because it will bury too far in the leather. But that one, as you can see, I didn't quite hit it far enough uh, so it come out, so I have to redo it, but no great biggie. I'm going, now I'm going again around the edges with the edging tool. As I said, just to knock off that sharp corner, it uh, saves it being damaged so well and it makes it feel much better for handling. So I should do this all around all the exposed edges then. And then I should move on to burnishing the other edge. Or, or all around the edges, sorry. Well, I've moved there. I'm now going to burnish the edges of the leather to um, finish it off. What I'm using is I've uh, rubbed some uh, pure beeswax on the edges. Then I'm using this. It actually is a piece of beech that I turned up um, with three different width grooves in, rounded grooves, and I use it in my pillar drill because it uh, does the job a lot easier. You can do it by hand. But uh, I prefer this method, it's a lot easier. So I should just work round it, and you'll see I keep checking it, and uh, it really does finish the edge off and make it look quite smart. I'm nearing the end of it now, as you'll see in a minute, I'll uh, hold it up so you can see it in the camera, and it really does finish the edges off, and it stops them uh, mushrooming out and all, it makes them a lot stronger. I've now, uh, I've actually finished it off, um, treated it all up, I started with the satin finish, um, that's a water-based one, and then finished it off with the so solid soap um, because that mainly for tack, but it gives a waterproof and finishes it. As you can see, the secateurs fit in well, um, and uh, the only thing I would have done with the leather being quite thick, I could have done with being a tad bigger. It's a bit tight, but it will wear in. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, give it a thumbs up, and. Uh, We'll all be happy. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.